Today I want to show you how I install the floor. I'm going to be using these treated. Uh, this is two, two by tens, which in reality are inch and a half by nine and a quarter. So they're not truly two by 10 like they used to be in the good old days whenever things meant what they said. So uh, I'm gonna show you how I would go about that so you can do it too. Let's follow along. So first thing you wanna do, you wanna measure the inside of your trailer here to see what you got. Now, this floor, when I removed it, actually had no bolts in it. Most floors will have some carriage bolts in it. They decided not to put bolts in this. What they had is they had a lip in the front towards the nose, right? And then they had this angle iron, two inch angle iron lip that once they put the boards in, they actually welded this lip in in the back to hold everything in place. That's one way to go about it. I'm actually gonna reuse this part that's welded in in the back because it's really, really sturdy and it's really, really new. Um, so what I like to do is, I'll show you. First thing we're gonna use though, we're gonna use, you're gonna need tape measure. I'm gonna use a drill, I got a quarter inch bit. I put quarter inch carriage bolts in my boards uh, and attach them to the cross members. And I use uh, two and a half inch carriage bolts. Carriage bolts, these aren't two and a half inch, these are some other ones. The carriage bolts look like that. That's what a carriage bolt looks like, all right? Looks like that. And so, two and a half inch carriage bolts. And whenever you get your board in there, it's a good idea. I've got a rubber mallet that you can pound your carriage bolts through. Sometimes they're a little stubborn. So what you need to do is measure your board. These, these were actually eight foot, eight feet. And I got them at 70 and a half is what I measured them at. And how I did that is I measured, I measured my full length. So I'm gonna measure my full length that I'm gonna need. This is how I go about this. And I measure a little bit past this lip because as that front end is raised up, I can actually wedge it in here and have it go up under this lip. You'll see what I mean whenever I actually install one. So it's actually 69 and three quarters is to this edge and I went 70 and a half to get it under that lip. I'll show you what I mean by I cut off the lip. Originally, originally there was a lip, all right? There was a lip that went across this whole front. Originally there was a lip that went across this whole front. You can see what's left of it right there. All right, I ground it down. And see, there's angle underneath there. So you can attach there. I usually just put like these bolt, these ones are already installed, all right? And I've got one carriage bolt on each cross member, right? And I'll show you what I do. I, I put the board in and then I'll drill into each cross member and then I'll install the floor like that. I'll show you how to do that. So remember, Remember this, see this, that's at the front, it's, it's overhanging. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this front end up, I'm going to wedge it in there. So it actually will go in like this. Okay. And I'll actually put it over on, on this side. be a bear. That's what that rubber mallet's for. There. We're in good. Now I want 
you take your drill. We're just going to put one carriage bolt there, another carriage bolt there, and we'll be done with this one. This is kind of, it's pretty close as far as getting all the way through. So I actually got my bit pulled out just a hair and got it on the high speed and on drill. So we'll go right about the middle and come up too. You can feel it go through and you can also have those metal shavings come up. Let's get our carriage bolts. So boards in, carriage bolt. Put through there that actually goes through really good. That one goes through really good. Now that square part on those head is going to bite into that board so quick tap. You're in good. So when you put your uh, flat washer, lock washer, and nut on the bottom of that, then this thing should not spin. So we shouldn't have no issues there. And you keep going, and we'll get all our. You'll end up with I got like a I got a two by four. It'll run down the middle because it this won't be exactly fit all two by tens. So um, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So this is what I was talking about. You'll have this little bit um, left over basically. And since I like to get these boards as tight as possible, there's still going to be a little bit of a gap, you know, so water and spills and stuff can run through. But it's not going to allow critters to come back up. So. Um, I actually got, I think I said two by four earlier, I've got a two by six that I'm going to cut down. So we're going to have to figure out how wide it needs to be. So there's two and a quarter on that end. And hopefully it looks like it's about the same. It's about identical. So two and a quarter two and a quarter slice of that two by six ought to get it. So we'll go cut that out and we'll see, uh, see what we end up with. All right, so I took my two by six and I cut it down to two and a quarter inches. Um, so now I'm gonna put it in there and good news is I already dry fitted it and this um, trailer is actually very square, which is great. It's great for longevity and quality and great for a lot of reasons, but it's also great because I lined this side of two by tens up with that rail, frame rail, and I lined this side of two by tens up with this other frame rail, and they met and we ended up with exactly two and a quarter inches difference between all of them. So before I put this in this hole, once I put it in there, I will not be able to see these cross members. So, it's a good practice to go ahead and push this up against there where it's going to be and mark your drill holes, all right? Mark where your drill holes are going to be. That way, when you put it in there, you do not have to guess where the drill holes are going to be. Now it's in there. Well, I'm going to be further forward. Let's see if I can do something. There we go. All right. So now I can just drill my holes.
And see, this is super, super tight. So that's great. bolts in. And now essentially our floor is finished from the top side. All we got to do on the bottom side is put a flat washer, a split washer or lock washer, and a nut. We'll put those on underneath whenever I get the trailer up in the air a little bit and uh, go from there. I'll show you that view. But from this part, from this aspect, this, I'll show you here. As you can see from this aspect, this trailer floor is rock solid. It'll all be bolted in. Nothing, no critters can come up through it, so you don't have to worry about rats or mice or anything like that or a whole lot of stuff. So that looks really, really nice. I'm very, very happy with the results. Um, and so I wish you best of luck. This says you can see it's pretty simple.